Hi, Ron, and everyone over at Enlightened Electric. My name's Christian, I'm with RinGen SEO, local digital marketing agency. Just wanted to shoot this quick video for you, give you some free tips and tricks on how you can increase your online presence all by yourself. Uh, so, three things I'm gonna talk about today, content, citations, and backlinks. This is gonna be a little bit different of a video because you don't have a website to critique, um, but I do think that you understand the value of being online because you went through the effort of getting yourself a Google My Business profile. Uh, so I guess where we'll start is with this. And so citation. So what a citation is, is anywhere on the web that your business name, address, and phone number is listed in various directories. Okay. Well, it looks like here you don't want your address showing, uh, which is understandable. A lot of people do that. So obviously you know that you don't have to have your address showing. So you can actually get citations um, without having your address listed. Uh, but some examples of those citations are going to be Facebook. Um, Yellow Pages, Yelp, Better Business Bureau, Chamber of Commerce, um, et cetera, et cetera. So those are going to give you citations. And the more citations you have, the higher up you're going to rank uh, your Google My Business profile in the map pack. A couple other things. First of all, great job on the reviews. You got 25 Google reviews with a 5.0. That's perfect. We recommend 25 minimum. You got 25 and you got a 5.0. Perfect. Great job on that. Um, but what you don't have is any photos. So this is just what the GMV picked up for the map. So what you're going to want to do is go in and add some photos uh, to this profile and that's going to help rank your GMV. So add 10 photos. Whenever you get a chance, log into your GMV, add 10 photos and uh, and then make sure to save those photos properly. So a lot of times when you upload a photo, uh, the computer will just generate something to save it as um, all by itself. It'll usually, it'll be like a image file with some random letters and numbers behind it. Um, that's no good. Delete that and, and save it as buyer intent keywords. Um, and then other than that, everything's looking good. Uh, once you get a website, um, you, you, you're going to want to put that in down here. Um, but the reason I brought that up with citations is this is the map pack. And I typed in electrician Orlando, Florida. We got all phases, illumination, and Solaris. You're not here. Uh, I didn't see enlightened. So if you're not here, when you have a website, you're at least going to want to be down here. Um, and, and you're not down here because you don't have a website. But once you do get one, um, you, I'm sure you can see the importance of being right here. And if you're not right here, being right up in here. Um, and then I know you do have your uh, GMB, but I'm looking here uh, on the map and, uh, and I'm not finding you. I'm not finding you anywhere on this whole first page. So by the time they get to you, wherever you happen to land, They've already had all these opportunities of people to call, right? But nine times out of 10, they're just going to call one of these guys right here. So this is where you want to be. And this is where you can get with citations in a website. Um, this is an example. I pulled up Solaris's uh, website just for purposes of this video. They got a um, halfway decent laid out website here. Um, so content is next. So content. So when you get your website built, you're going to want to make sure to have 1500 words minimum on any page you're trying to rank. Uh, Google loves content. Content is king in the eyes of Google. So the more content you have, the better. Um, and then you're going to want to uh, make sure to input buyer intent keywords in that content. Uh, and then lastly, so content isn't just the words on your website. It's also the pictures, how the pictures are saved, alt tags, meta description, site titles, uh, what's behind the pictures, etc. So um, every picture that you have on your website, you can save it as content. And then Google's going to pick that up on the back end. Um, so 1,500 words and uh, make sure to save your pictures properly. And then the last thing is backlinks. So once you get a website, anywhere that your website is at on the internet is going to give you a backlink, which is like power, right? So I use solaristechnology.net for the purposes of this video. They have 407 backlinks coming from 62 domains. Um, and that's going to give you a rating, right? Their rating is 5, and this is 5 out of 100. Um, so basically they have a lot of room to improve, which is part of the reason why um, they didn't pull up number one in this organic down here. Uh, but they're definitely doing something uh, right. So the only thing is that when you get your website, it won't, it won't be that hard to beat these guys. They're not, they're not here because of anything other than citations uh, and their website and uh, their content and their backlinks. So um, basically you're gonna wanna get some backlinks. You can pay for those, you can get free ones, you can find them, but you're gonna wanna make sure to get your backlinks from uh, other sites 
that are relevant and that aren't spammy. So if you go out there putting your website on a spammy website or uh, one that's not relevant, it's actually going to dock you points, which is probably why their domain rating is so low. And then the last thing, I know we were talking about buyer intent keywords earlier. So I want to show you like um, Electricians Orlando, that's 60 volume. Electrician Orlando, Florida, exactly what I typed in, that's 250 volume every month. So 250 people every month are typing in Electrician Orlando, Florida and seeing this. That's every month. So this is where you want to be, right? 250 people every month are typing in Electrician Orlando, Florida. Uh, yeah, you have a map pack, but you're not pulling up here. Uh, and this is where you want to be. So these guys are bringing in the business and that's how they're getting that business. That's how they're bringing in that lead flow. Uh, and that's just an example of one uh, buyer intent keyword. So I hope this video finds you well. I hope that you use these strategies uh, to get yourself a website and start making some more money. Uh, any questions or feedback is appreciated. And, uh, and thanks for watching.